Welcome to our lecture online. Well, here we have another interesting example where we're mixing exponential functions and trigonometric functions. So how do we find the derivative of this? Well, again, we use the rule. We have y prime, which is the same as dy dx, which is equal to, well, when it's an exponential function with the base e, we repeat the function. We write e to the 2 tangent of the square root of x times the derivative, the d dx, of the exponent, which is 2 times the tangent of the square root of x. Now, this becomes e to the 2 tangent of the square root of x times, now, the derivative of the tangent is the secant square, so this becomes 2 times the secant square of the square root of x, but now we have to, again, multiply this times the derivative of the angle, the square root of x. So we're going to write it as x to the one-half power, because that makes it easier to work with it. All right? So then, we can already put this in the front, so this is equal to 2 e to the 2 tangent. Oof, hey, wait a minute. I was going to put the whole thing in the front, the whole factor there. Let's do that. So we write 2 times the secant square of the square root of x, like that, times e, so times e to the 2 tangent of the square root of x. And now the derivative of x to the 1 half, well, that is equal to 1 half times x to the subtract 1 from the exponent, like this. And then we realize we have 2 times this divided by 2, so the 2's cancel. And the x to the 1 half can go in the denominator, so this becomes equal to the secant squared of the square root of x times e to the 2 tangent, oop, that's not looking very good here, tangent of the square root of x, all divided by the square root of x, like this. Now, of course, be careful, don't try to cancel those two out because this is the angle of the secant square of x and this is simply the square root of x, but that is eventually the derivative of what we started with and that is how it's done.